Hey, hey. Hey, hey, y'all. Man, this little question <laughs> about the weapons and tools thing has really got us talking today. So we're just going to keep going at it. That's you right. Know? So this time we talked about what, babe? The cost. What it costs? Yeah, we wanted to talk about what is it going to cost mm-hmm. you if you continue using weapons instead of tools yeah. in your relationship. And one of the things that we talked about, the biggest thing is it's going to cost you the relationship, the relationship. itself. Absolutely. <laughs> it could cost you yeah. the relationship itself. Yeah. That's a huge price to have to pay yeah. um, if you continue using those weapons. It's going gonna, it's gonna to cost you a healthy relationship. Let's yes, a healthy, a healthy relationship. relationship. Absolutely. Because yeah. there's a lot of people who are just existing in their yeah. relationship. Yeah, exactly. You kind of got that roommate factor going you on know what I mean? instead yeah, of yeah, having yeah. a robust health because at least you know that mm-hmm. you know so the other one would be uh, we talked about esteem self esteem yeah confidence yeah confidence and because what's going to happen if out. I'm continuing to just emasculate you and continuing to just withhold from you and all of that how that's going to make you feel as a man well within my household it's going to make me feel like you know uh, less than less mm-hmm. than if I don't change it around if I don't know how to defend but like you say if you constantly bombarding and next thing i know that's just rubble mm-hmm. right um there's nothing there mm-hmm. really so i'm always going to be you know a little timid about saying anything or doing anything and that's going to rub and affect anything that's attached to that mm-hmm. you know the, uh, the children and even uh, as a woman though yeah. if you continue to compare me to other people yeah. or devalue me yeah. I think my self-esteem and my confidence will, like, start, like, what's what's wrong with me, you know, doing all of those things. We we all have experienced that at times, and we know ultimately our confidence does come from Christ, but in your relationship, man, that stuff hurts. It just hurts. It makes you feel unloved sometimes, or not that you are, but it makes you feel that way. So, yeah, definitely could cost you your self-esteem and your confidence. Well, let, let me... We, since we're talking about the weapons and tools, let's just talk about weapons. Me being in the military, that was a term that would happen. Uh-oh, got to speak up a little bit probably, huh? Well, the sirens! We'll probably edit this right <laughs> here. we got sirens coming down. we got to... Uh, All right. Okay. Let's go. That's it. All right. In, being in the military, that was a term that um, it sounds good at the beginning. But then the second word lets you know that wasn't what was supposed to happen. And when we're talking about weapons in a marriage, here we are. Um, it's, it's called friendly fire, mm-hmm. right? So if I'm using weapons all the time and I'm not communicating, because we talked about in the other one, we wanted uh, communication, honest communication. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, to be open. Mm-hmm. And to grow. And to, yeah, there was something else we called it. It's to be open. Willing to go, oh, willing. yeah, willing, oh, okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. and to uh, communicate honestly. Mm-hmm. So, with that being said, friendly fire. When you don't have those three things happening, you're open, right? Uh, you're not willing to navigate and grow, and you're not willing to communicate honestly. You start getting this. Uh, all these weapons start going every which way. You over there doing this, and how that applies to in the military when we start you know shoot moving and communicating if you get out and i thought you was going to be on the right side and i'm coming straight up and then you're firing toward the center that's friendly you're going to shoot me or i shoot you Mm -hmm. you know how we maneuvering and uh but i didn't know you was over there Mm -hmm. right so that happens um in in war and in conflict so think about that friendly fire if you're constantly not communicating, uh, always doing this defensive and firing off with your withholding, mm-hmm. I'm withdrawing, you know, you're emasculating, I'm comparing, here you are, and you you blaming, mm-hmm. and I'm devaluing. Yeah. So all these things are going across. You over on the left, I'm coming straight through, you coming straight through, I'm on the right. It's just constantly, you know, and then you come in here, and you're supposed to be hitting a nail, and you hit me in the head, you know what I mean? So... 
that it's just it gets crazy. I it really a gets crazy. In my mind again, that scripture: yeah. a wise woman builds her house, but a yeah. foolish woman tears it down with her own hands. And I'm thinking, like, you got a machine gun, and you just in your house, like, yeah, <gasps> just wide open. Up the whole yeah. house. like that's your own house. What are you doing? But I think that's where that little <laughs> that saying goes. It's like if, if mama not happy, the whole house not happy, something <laughs> like that. You know. So, but that can also happen. And that used to be one of the things that kind of irritated me, especially in the previous relationship, is that, okay, what if I'm not happy? <laughs> you look like you're enjoying yourself. You got a house, you got a car, you got all these things. You know, you get to do this and you get to do that. And then I'm just kind of, well, what about me? <laughs> you know? So that's just friendly fire again. And here I am, instead of me communicating, when I get to that point, well, what about me? Instead of like, you know, hey, uh, let's do something you know, a little different today. You want to go um, fish? I'll try it. Yeah. You try it? But some people just say, no. No. Hey, I'll hey, go you know? And then, what's some of the stuff that you like to do? Sit in the park. Okay. <laughs> Look. And, and to me, to sit in the park sometimes, I need to have something going on. But Walk you know, in the park. yeah, but the, the, mm -hmm. the, the more mature I've gotten, I've learned to enjoy more of the quietness and the uh, peaceful and just seeing a different thing and people watch it's oh, yeah, great like you know what I mean? yeah so look watching it's... you like y'all watching us <laughs> you know so it's a lot of little it's things a like nice that. sunny day outside yeah. this chick has to get out the house she runs out the house pretty I'm much like, oh, and i'm like it's a sunny day yeah. but one thing that happens like we was talking earlier if it's going to be a beautiful day we get breakfast earlier we get lunch earlier we got <laughs> Everything gets prepared so we can be gone. You know what I mean? So um, we didn't kind of got way off of this one question. Oh, what another thing that it yeah. could cost yeah. you yeah. is the things that are attached to you. Absolutely. The kids, well, your job. That. Yeah. How can that? How is that affected if you continue using weapons yeah. instead of tools? So that's the friendly fire. I was mm -hmm. saying, I, and we kind of got off track. Is that you know when the esteem gets low? When the what was the first one? Um, the relationship yeah. is not that. Yeah. That affects everything. It's that ripple effect. It, it affects everything. And then if it does end in divorce, if it does end up, y'all go, y'all separate. If you're not married, then that esteem and the relationship that you go into, if you still continue to use the weapons, it's still going to be affected. Yeah. Your job's going to be affected. The children, if you had children, is going to be affected. Everything Absolutely. attached to it. You know, mm -hmm. so... Like they say, uh, money can't buy happiness. Money can't buy, you know, a lot of things that it, it can't buy your esteem. It may buy you uh, notoriety, but I know a lot of people. You might uh, have to. Did I say notoriety? Notoriety. Right? Yeah. You said okay. it right. Yeah. You know, sometimes a <laughs> sudden twang gets in the way. But um, yeah, I know a lot of people that have the notoriety. You know what I mean? Uh, have the money, have the status, all that stuff, but. Hit them where it's, you know, that one little thing, that little boy, that little girl Which that got hurt, we us. all have in us, then they just totally fall apart mm -hmm. when, um, you know, something, you know, could be dealt with. Yep. Because they've been defending, they've been firing and using their weapons, and then click, click, click. Now I don't have any that thing that's not affecting effective in this relationship That's so right. now i need some tools yeah, yeah to i guess that could be a good talk, thing we talk about next what are what are tools that you can replace yeah those things with Absolutely. instead of using them that's a good cool. one all right y'all so just remember ask yourself what is it gonna cost if i continue, continue. using these weapons instead of tools and we say in my relationship your esteem and Confident. everything yeah attached to it, it. That's it. That's right. So, appreciate y'all. Right, and again, it's never, it's never pointless. pointless. <laughs> All right, we're getting better. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Take Love y'all. Peace.